Hello everybody, my name is Zelly and welcome back to Hush Hush. Now for now we're in week two! Woohoo! Wait, where did Sonic go? Motherfucker. Yee! Let's actually get into the game. So welcome back to Hush Hush, it's week two! What I'm doing on my phone here is none of your business. Aside from, you know listening to music through here while playing this game. And comes the greatest sin of all time. No music, as I am actually gonna be listening to music through this phone so I know what to edit in and all that cool stuff. So, you guys will hate me, but I don't care. Um, so, but anyways, week two of Hush Hush. Uh, what's the first thing we're gonna be doing today? So we're gonna go head up to the mountains and see Euro Kawase. Let's go ahead and get into this. Week 2 begins now. It's very early in the morning still when you reach the beginning of the trailhead at the base of Rose Mountain. Not surprising, Euro is there. And she is only one and she is the only one there waiting for me. She rushes over to you as you climb out your car, swooping with a truly epic double hand high five. Oh my god! You made it! Yeah! Quite the energy. I can't handle it, so that's uh, so sad. You absolute unit! I can say without hesitation that you have impressed. Impressed. Cool. In other words, thanks so much for joining me on my jog. I'm. This is a dream, right? Why is this? It's so low in the sky. Why is the sky blue? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. If I'm the girl you're dreaming about at night, you've got some problems in your life you need to sort out. I already have problems in my life which don't involve Eero. Shut up, comments. <laughs> there, there. You'll be okay. The morning sun can't hurt you. It's your friend. Oh, I'll stare at that. <laughs> All right, let's check if we've got everything. Water, check. Good running shoes, check. The will and drive to absolutely annihilate this mountain. Check. Hell yeah. But in all seriousness, are you ready? Do you want to go halfway and see how we feel? It's dumb to push yourself if you don't hit these sorts of cardio very often. Nah, we got this. Let's hit it! Woo! Some Sonic Unleashed energy right there. You and you spend the morning jogging, spending the better part of an hour chatting in the, and, in, and in focused silence when the road climbs aggressively. It is not a good run. You are pooped, pooped on by a bird. And several sport utility vehicles pass by you with horns blaring. Arrow, however, is in utter ecstasy for the whole jog. By the time you reach the top of the mountain, you are both sweaty, exhausted, and sore. But Arrow's smile says it all. Oh, my God! I think I broke my record. <laughs> is it done? Barely broke a sweat. Ira leans back, her hands on her hips, and gives you the most suspicious eye she can. But after a moment, she sh pursues her lips and nods approvingly. Alright, I admit. I underestimated you a bit. Good. But don't get cocky, or I'll show you what it really means to be competitive. Oh man, I can't be Sonic the Hedgehog now? It's like, Sonic cocky? Or oh, whatever. <sighs> Alright. Let's hit the road back down. Way easier that way. Oh yeah, easier. I'll be splitting off at Crescent Road, but just in case I'm too winded to do so properly. Thanks for coming out. It really means a lot to me. What are friends for? Exactly. All right, let's go. Yeah. The rest of the jog is mostly quiet, but Ira's smile doesn't fade for the entire trip back.
Well, that was fun. All right, Mio. Hey, how's it going? Doing good? Feeling good? Just want to let you know that I need to show up for work early today due to car troubles and such. Anyway, it'll be slow this afternoon, so I could use an accomplice for shenanigans. Drop by for free. It'll be fun. Hope to see you there. Hey, Eero. How you doing? Hey, look alive. Eero is pulling up your phone. <laughs> Just had a question for you. Hey, did you maybe want to grab a coffee? Grab coffee in a moment? Don't worry. I won't make you race me there or anything. I'm actually super sore. This is a good time to hang out with without compulsory cardio. Interested? Uh, bro, no. For sure. I'd love to drink coffee and not destroy my body at the same time. That's literally me. I had a feeling you'd be down for something lower impact. Alright, I'll see you there. It'll be fun. Well, it'll be relaxing. Cheers. Cheers. Alright. Conspicuous guy. Where do I go? Let's go to the arcade. Rolling into the arcade, you spot Mio right away at the prize counter. She's looking a little bored as a little kid is trying to pick a prize. I don't know, kid. The metamorph for temporary tattoos seem a lot cooler to me than the sticky hand. What? I mean, you're gonna stick the thing in your sister's hair, and then what? It's going into the garbage. Yeet. Meanwhile, I'm putting that snake tattoo on my arm and going out and impressing the girls. Just saying. Cool. Oh! Oh. Mio hops the counter and rushes over to you when she spots you. She has a little squirrel of joy as she gives you a hug. Eee! You made it! I'm so glad you came! What do you need? I was actually killing time behind the counter. My shift hasn't even started yet. Are you good? Do you want to hang out? Absolutely. I'm all yours. Yay! That's exactly what I was hoping you would say. Alright, so the climb wall and the spin cycle aren't open yet, so we can't do those. Poo -poo. <laughs> climb wall. Yeah, right. I climb leaderboards. Who do I look like? Spider Gwen? Oh. They really. Oh, wow, well, that's gonna get. That's gonna lead into numerous copyright problems. Alright, note to self. Look into Spider Gwen cosplay. Hmm. Actually, that wouldn't be too lewd. Uh, what's the best one? I don't know, you might be a bit soft for that cosplay. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. You meanie. I would hit you, but I picked up a big bowl this morning and tweaked my wrist. But go to the hospital! <laughs> don't look at me like that. It was a really big bowl! Bowl. Okay, I've done everything here a hundred times, so it's your choice. Do you want to mini golf or just hit the bar for some rather concerning day drinking? Mini golf. It counts as physical exercise, thereby putting you at a disadvantage. Very true, but don't underestimate me. I'm scrappy. What do you mean, scrappy do? <laughs> Wait here, I'll get us free clubs and balls. Clubs and balls, baby. <laughs> I said balls. Okay, going. <laughs> Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> oh shit, son! You and Mio step outside to the mini golf course. It has a cheesy tourist trap vibe, but Mio seems to dig it. Who, who would not dig it? As you line up for you, as you line up your first shot, Mio tries to strike you by pulling her top. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you have any sunblock? I don't want these girls getting too much sun. Mew, come on. Waiting several moments does nothing to, to dissuade her power over her. The shot still seems easy enough. <laughs> Hold on. Play to win! After 45 minutes of windmills, water traps, and completely bullshit ramps, Mini golf as a whole. <laughs> you managed to pull off the win on the last hole, meeting Mio's score. What? That's a buff. And I got motivation. Well, okay. 
Being immune to score by measly two strokes, that's close. No! My mighty empire is fallen! I'm no longer the queen of balls! That's... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm funny. You know it. It's okay to admit the truth. Well, it's about time I start my shift. Thanks so much for dropping in and killing some time with me. Yeah, cool. Mwah. Too early. Let's do this again sometime. See ya. Goodbye. Oh, and this is for you. What is it? Mia tosses you a pack, a pack of metaphor for temporary tattoos. Ooh. I'm not going around looking like a punk man. Come on. <laughs> if I want to go around looking like a punk, I'd rather go in leather jacket and khakis. <laughs> I don't fucking know. In case you're ever out trying to impress the ladies. No. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Mio blows a kiss. You walk out to your car and hit the road. Cassie, hey sweet cheeks, how you doing today? Just wanted to let you know that you that a girlfriend and I are heading out to the bar right now. You know the one in the arcade? It might sound weird, but the drinks are super cheap. Anyway, if you want to hang out with two goofballs and snack on free pretzels, this is your chance. To drop by if you're not busy. Ciao. I wish I could make her phone make the call from the ba from Battlestar. Anyway, it's a me, Mio. I wanted to invite you to coming out, but this time outside. We already did. I'm meeting some friends at the beach. It'll be cool and hot. Both of those things. In other words, I need you to come to the beach. It will be fun. Good God, you sound like a f creepy clown. Like Pennywise. Maybe. I haven't seen it. So, you free tomorrow afternoon? I'm there. Hey, bring your swimsuit, a snack, and your phone. Cool. Trust me. Bring your phone. See you there. Go to the arcade, spot 15. When you reach the ready day arcade, you peek inside to see if Mio is working behind the bar before you enter. Luckily, it seems she's not around, and right away you spot Cassie saying you are talking with another girl. You make your way over, keeping a sharp eye, a sharp eye out for Mio or anyone else who, who might recognize you. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, just how badly did you strike out? Not bad at all. Things didn't work out. It happens. But I gotta tell you, Alice, there's just something about this one that gets under my skin. Like, in a good way. One of those, I hope we can get to the sax part soon situations. Here, yeah, times five. I'm not sure what it is. I can't get them out of my head. Oh, balls! Hello! Oh my gosh! Well, speak of the devil and she'll give you a reach around. <laughs> hey, hey Cassie, you're looking great. Great times five! Oh god. You bullies just aren't gonna let up on me now, are ya? <laughs> Cass! I can't remember the last time I saw you blush. Not without the help of a decent amount of rum. Oh lord. This is Alice. She's my... my friend, I guess? Alice, what are you? I'm more like the fun police, but in reverse. I follow Cassie around and make sure she has a good time. Okay. Speaking of which, you both need a drink. I got this round. Be right back. Mm. 
dot 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 so freaking dramatic. Hey, thanks for coming out. Me and Alice can tie one on just fine, but the more the merrier, do you know? Oh yeah, more the merrier. It was either hang out with two hot chicks or stay home and pet my kitty. Aww. Well, I'm glad to hear I rank above your other prospects. I promise I'm a lot more fun to pet. Not my smoothest line, but I'll stick to it. I'm owning it. Pet me, not kitties. I'd rather pet dogs, thank you. And no, I'm not talking about Tessa. I'm talking about my own dogs. That sounded really fucking weird. I'm back. Here you are. I hope you like it sweet and creamy, because that's how I roll. So, wait a minute. Alice, this is the kind of crap that gets you hung over. It's also the kind of crap that gets you laid. So I'm afraid I don't see the issue. I'm about to see two drunk girls help. Let's have a little toast, shall we? Raise your glasses. Do it. Here's to sex. My favorite thing ever. Cool. That's a dumb toast. My reactions, exactly. Well, show me how it's done, kitten. Brr a moment. I always toast to friends, present and absent. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is nice. Though, not as nice as sex. Okay, your turn. Make a toast. Here's to Cassie. She's hot and she's cool. Oh, I'll drink to that. I knew you two would be insufferable to me after that embarrassing display earlier. Hmm. Oh, the three of you wind up sharing more than a few drinks, and soon you notice that Alice is more than happy to buy the drinks. Oof. Fuck. It isn't long before you start to feel more than a little dreamy. If you don't slow it down, you might get a bit more drunk than you intend to. Hold my liquor. Hold my beer. You usually drink to two ladies on the table. Oh, bruh. Keeping slightly more sober than the ladies, the three of you have a wild night. There are body shots, Alice, Alice and Cassie kiss several times. And the two of them can't keep their hands off me. <laughs> they hug, hit, and caress you the entire night. You can't, you can't help but get turned on from the constant physical attention. At the end of the night, both Cassie and Alice are completely drunk, and you help the two of them call. Or separate ride shares since they're going in opposite directions. Alice, I wish I had your legs. Come here, I want them. Darling, unless you're spreading them, don't you be touching no legs. The two of them laugh and play fight as the first car pulls up. With a little app finessing, you arrange for Alice's Right to come first. All right, kids, I'm off. Thanks so much for coming out and partying with us. Cass, don't be a bitch. Get a lock on this one, or I'm gonna spank you. What? Go home. You're drunk. Hey, you are also drunk. Same to you. There you are. <laughs> All right. Good night. Once the car's gone, Cassie turns towards you and wraps her arm around your waist. Oh, Jesus. I had enough. So, do you maybe want to fool around tonight? Oh, crap. I just remembered I can't. Things aren't a... Uh, it's not a good time right now. But, Rain Check, you looked good tonight. All I want right now is to tie you up and show you some tricks I know. <laughs> What's the... Rain check. Deal. 
Alright. <laughs> Cassie's right arrives then. But before she lets you go, she pulls you close and kisses you passionately. Oh boy. There you go. Think of me tonight? See you later, sweet cheeks. Okay, bye. As the car pulls away, she blows you a kiss. Cool. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. Your own ride share arrives shortly after, and you head home. Well, getting a ride share sucks. That's, uh. Hmm. Alright, what do we got? Two luckies. What can I say? I'm a lucky man. The fridge makes just a concerning sound for most of the evening, but settles down. But settles down. You decide to ignore it. It's probably fine. You dreamt you were out of mustard. This was a this was a grave of concern for some reason. The feeling passes quickly. Well, I hate mustard, so who who fucking cares? Yeah, this both lucky. All right. Beep. July 9th, and it is the morning hours. But man, am I excited! Kathy, what do you want? Any hey, sweet cheeks thinking about me? The answer is no. Think about someone else. So fuck you. Don't answer. I know you are. No, I'm not. No matter what you say. Eh. Question. Are you up to tonight? Because according to my calendar, it looks like you're meeting me for a coffee. Tonight, Queen Bean. You and me. Sound good? Ooh, Jenna, it won't work. Hold on, I gotta look up this for a second. Sounds amazing. Iro Kawase. There you go, that's the right answer. Well, mine's not the right answer. I'll see you there, don't be late. I get grouchy when people are late. Ciao! Let's go meet up with Hero at the cafe. On your way to the cafe, you take a few moments to take the sight take in the sights. The town is incredibly busy today, and there are tourists everywhere. Anxiety. Despite the presence of several other cafes and coffee shops, you can see that the Queen Bee Coffee House is much busier than the others, of course. Walking up to the outdoor tables, you spot Eero already sitting at, at a table. You catch her eye, and she quickly jumps her feet. Only to grab her sign and cringe in the universal sign language of I am hurt real bad, oh. She limps over to you and gives you a hug. Hi! This is... Ow! I mean... Hi! I'm much quieter, hi! Hello. Careful! I'm one giant bruise today. Covered in bruises. With a side of even more bruises. The first question is me. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> okay, any option. Except for last. What in the world did you do? I did a stupid is what I did. A stupid? We all do stupid. Last night, a bunch of friends and I went cliff diving over at the clay banks on North Beach. Fucking lord. I may have jumped over the fence boundary, though, and jumped from a place that's sort of out of bounds. Mm -hmm. No, no. Here's a tip. When you go cliff diving, make sure you hit the water. <laughs> well, 
you just get back on that horse and try again. You can't let gravity win. <laughs> right? I 100% agree. Though cliff diving on a horse is probably ill-advised. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Clean Bean Coffee House. Unexpected. Can I get anything for you guys today? Oh, yes. I'm craving that super protein mega shake you make, Lotus. I need it. I need it. Oh, wonderful. I am so glad you like it. Though, just to warn you, the ingredients basically double in cost since I started serving it. Oof. No problem. I need my protein. Hit me. And for you? I'll have the same. <laughs> Make that too, and I'll grab the deal. Why wouldn't the bottom one make some more sense? You're being a gentleman. But okay, I'll have the same. Sounds good. I'll have that order for you right away. Yes! You've made an excellent life decision. This shake is going to change your life for the better, I promise. Whatever you say. <laughs> that lotus is a beauty, eh? I think she's a bit unlucky with relationships, though. I saw her at a bar once with a date. Big guy with, like, one of those velvety t-shirts with the wolves on them. Are we talking about folks? <laughs> <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> well, then, I'm not deriding wolf-based fashion. Just maybe not on a first date. A blind date at that. And that went south. <laughs> anyway, the guy wasn't much of a conversationalist, and he got upset whenever Lotus left his side to use the bathroom or whatever. Bruh. So, I may have intentionally spilled my beer all over his wolf shirt when she went to get a drink. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe you were jealous. <laughs> you did it! Allegedly. And judging by his reaction, I think I did her a favor. Good job. He called me all kinds of words. Words you shouldn't call a classy lady such as myself. Anyway. He got tossed. I bought Lotus a drink, and we danced until they shut the place down. Good for you. Great night. 10 out of 10. Would spill beer on a wolf shirt again. <laughs> that's Where's your order? That's, that's a great you enjoy it. Cool. Thanks, Lotus. Looks amazing. May. All right, bottoms up. Here's the protein. Cheers. As you chug to drink, a woman wearing a bow enters the cafe and signals for you to stay quiet as she sneaks up on Hero. Boo! Ah! Ah! <sighs> Kelly! You scared the bejeebers out of me. You almost made me drop my mega shake. Shush, you're fine. Oh, and so's your company. <laughs> Who is this Hero, babe? Sonic. Unknown woman, help me. <laughs> Callie, this is the out of towner I was telling you about. The one that got a face full of boob when we met. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, hello! How are you? I'm Calixa, but you can call me Callie, Cal, C, or whatever you remember in 10 minutes. Are you, are you trying to tell me that you know I have a short attention span or short short memory span? Come on. Eero's been telling me all about you. All kinds of private, sensitive information. <laughs> I'm building up quite the blackmail situation here. Calm yourself, Callie. This is why we can't have normal friends. 
It's always blackmail this and extortion that. Extortionation. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll behave. Despite how utterly terrible I am at it. Any option. Nice to meet you. I like your bow. <laughs> nice! Uh, thanks so much. It takes me at least five to ten minutes each day to tie it just right. I'm glad there are people who can appreciate the effort. Well, given everything else, I would say it's probably your nicest feature. By far. By really far. Hey! You be nice to me or I'm gonna bite ya. Anyway, I'll let you two take up valuable oxygen together. I'm hitting the road. Hero, are we still on for that thing later? What? Yep, I'll see you there. Don't forget to bring gloves. And wear underwear this time. My true talents go unappreciated. Oh. Hero has one of those friends. <laughs> Alright, see ya, Cal. Don't mind her. She's a nut, but she's good people. Oh, um, well, goodish people. Goodish? Hmm. Would you excuse me a sec? I overhydrated on my run here, and that's all the info I think you need. BRB. Here he gets up from the table and disappears into the cafe. When she's out of sight, you hear someone psst behind you. Here a sec. Uh. <laughs> you know, when you psst that valley, it seems like it's hardly a secret. Secrets are for second graders. I want to gossip about sexy stuff. Oh lord, here we go. So sorry to bother you, but I just have to ask you something. What? Hero's been telling me all about you, and she's got this little sparkle in her eye. And I'm wondering if you're just BFF material, or if you're actually looking for more. You know, like, wink wink, nudge nudge, kiss kiss, yum yum. Jesus Christ. And that's the goddamn truth. <laughs> yes! I knew it! Mm, Callie gets 50 points. Look, I'm on your side here. Hero is crazy dear to me. I can't even begin to describe. She has a front row seat in my heart. She and I used to date way back in the day. Then we moved in together and only lasted three more months because I'm kind of a mess <laughs> in terms of feebleness. I am currently a mess. I hope not to be a mess in the future. So we transformed into besties and have been super tight ever since. That's cool. The reason I'm telling you this is that... You're the first person in almost a year that Eero has brought up in conversation with that little sparkle of hers. She's been through some rough times, and I want to see her move past it. Turn up the dial on her happiness, and maybe turn down the dial on other stuff. So, if you're truly in it to win it, I want to help. As long as you're actually an amazing person and a monster in the sack. I fucking knew she was gonna say something like that. <gasps> I know, right? Oh, she's bulgy in all the right places, that girl! <laughs> Jesus. Well, I like the cut of your grass, bub. And I'm going to be cheering you on from the sidelines. And if you prove yourself worthy, I'll gladly sidekick you to success. Okay, I'm outie. 
Before she gets back and suspects that I'm actually just here admiring your dummy thick booty. I'm not Snake. <laughs> Take care! Bye! A goodbye. Can't dash away just as Iris returning to the bathroom and key the lotus. Sorry, there was a line. I was debating whether or not to get a latte. I want coffee now. Fuck. Milk and I don't have the best relationship, but... Well, let's just say what I don't tell my PT can't hurt me. PT? Give me coffee or kid. Give me coffee or give me death. Right on! Nothing like elevating a mild indulgence to the level of a life or death situation. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Lotus! Can we get two lattes when you get a sec? No sugar. Coming right up. Fresh and hot and full of fire. Perfect. Perfect. So, I was bugging you earlier about what you've been up to. Anything else to report? Fantastic. I've been on a bunch of dates. The last couple of days. The girls in the sun are incredible. Oh, ho, ho. look at Nick Smooth talk here. Thank you. Yeah, there's quite a few guys and gals I would put into the honey category around here. Hmm. Unfortunately, a few too many of them know me by reputation. Yep, I hear you. You look this good. It is gonna hate you. Fuck yes. <laughs> Yes, yes! That's exactly what I'm talking about, goof! No, no. For real, though. It's because most people around town... They know my dad. He's been a cop around here for a long time. Oh, a cop. Everyone knows me and Eli as Chief Saji's kids. He's an absolute hard-ass, and some people still act funny around us. Like we're going to tell on them or something. Oh. Anyway, I was somehow going to loop this back to how it's hard luring in locals because they're afraid an angry Japanese man is going to sneak up behind them and club them for talking to his daughter. What's... Everything you just said was, is horrifying. <laughs> Sorry, I should have slapped a trigger warning on that one. <laughs> the next time I intend to say the phrase Elderly Japanese man. I'll make sure to warn you. Okay. Oh! Heads up! Look at this cutie walking by. No! Don't make it so obvious. More smooth. Come on! Okay, okay. Now look. Hmm? When you turn to look, you see... Oh my god. You, you see, Elle has taken a seat at one of the empty tables, so the swoops in right away. Um, hello. Hola, aloha, and hello! Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. Michelle, you are looking so bright and shiny today. I swear you must have a magic lamp to always look so darling. Oh, if I had a magic lamp... I would more than likely misplace it. And then I would be so worried about the poor genie inside. <laughs> I've never been misplaced myself, but I imagine it's a distressing experience. Oof. If only you knew. <laughs> Misel, you always make me smile so much. What can I get for you? The usual today? Yes, please. Whipping cream, sprinkles and all. <laughs> sprinkles? Let us poke your head inside and calls to Dimitri. Coming right up. Dimitri, I need a Santa Claus special for Miss L. Pronto! Pronto. For her, I shall move heaven and earth. Alright, cool. Let us stay by, by L. Sailor. The two in the two kitchen chat. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like she's noticed you here. That's okay. Al Reed. She's one of the rich kids in town. Her dad owns like all the things. Everything. She's single too. What do you think? Think you have a shot with her? Swoop in and show me your moves. Mm. 
No Captain Falcon reference in my fucking existence. <laughs> Helen and I have met already. She's a sweetheart. If I go in, he'll be my wingman? What? Yeah, for sure. I'll help you make a good impression. All right. All right, get in there. I'll cover you. <coughs> Here you are, Miss A. The Santa Claus special. Latte, extra cream with sprinkles and mini cookies. Ooh. Yay, thank you so much. Little cookies make me so happy. Just look how cute they are! They're like teeny tiny cookies for... Um... Psst! This is your chance! Say leprechauns or fairies or something cute! <laughs> like cookies for leprechauns. Oh! Yes! That's exactly the word I was looking for! There you go. I kept thinking they were called leprechauns. Which, I seem to recall her, not cute at all. <laughs> ha! Ten points to Eero! God fucking damn it. It's so nice to see you again, by the way. I had no idea that we had a mutual love of coffee and coffee-related treats. Imagine that. Normally, I would love to stay and chat, but I have an appointment I need to dash to. We'll chat again really soon. Take care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice work, Slick. But you gotta give props. Who had your back on this one? Mm, I wonder who. That L is such a cutie pie, I wish I could bottle her up and spray her on grouchy people I meet on jogs. Oh, hey, there you go. I must admit, you're quite the wingman. Wing woman, what the fuck ever. Boo, yes! And don't you forget it! Okay. Well, this has been fun. Say, there's something I wanted to ask you. As you're surfing. You're asking me how I surf? I don't surf. See, there's actually this big once a year event coming up soon, and I would love to do it with a partner. I don't know much about surfing, but by all the ocean gods, I will learn. Yes! Absolutely! I mean, the thing I'm talking about is not for beginners at all. You could die, but that is absolutely the attitude I want to hear. Life or death? Surfing? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I always get so pumped chatting with you. You're really motivational. I've had PTs that aren't nearly as motivating as you. I take that as a compliment, because... I really motivated these past few years to do anything. So every year, there's this big almost hurricane that hits the town. It's actually super scary. Stuff falls over, people get hurt, it's a whole thing. Yeah, surfing in the fucking hurricane. That's what I want to do. <laughs> but it also kicks up the absolutely best monster waves you've ever seen. I'm talking 50 footers, perfect conditions, the works. Hmm. I've been working hard the last couple of years to take them on, and I think I'm ready this year. But I would love to work with a partner on some last-minute training, and I'd love to have someone hit the waves with me. What do you say? Would you be down for something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Hell yes, sign me up. Go big or go home. Yee! That's great! I'm so excited. Even if we crash and burn, it'd be fun to see if we've got what it takes. Eh, I guess you don't really crash and burn on a surfboard. More like crash and... Hmm? You alright? You kind of went quiet there. Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Sorry, I got lost in thought for a sec there. Oh. You ever get deja vu? Well, I get this really ridiculously powerful sense of dread whenever I get it. It feels like I've dreamt all this before. And something bad is about to happen. <sighs> anyway, I'm good. Let's just pretend that never happened and I'm a totally normal and well-adjusted friend you can count on. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, wow! Look at the time. We've been hanging out for an hour and change. Time flies when you're having fun. I guess it is. So? Are we on for next week, though? The waves are going to start kicking up, and I need to know I can count on you. On it like a bonnet. Yes! Oh, I am so looking forward to this. I'll text you the deets later in the week. Chat with you again soon. A good bye. Ta ta for now, Surf Amigo. That's a cool nickname. Bye, Lotus! Adios, Ciro. Hey, Louise, with a skip and a limp in her step, cringing and waving at you twice before she carefully crosses the street to where she parked her motorcycle. Your latte is cold by now, but palatable. The thought of surfing in expert level conditions sends a wave of doubt through you. You've got less than a week to improve your skills. You finish your drink and head your, to your next destination. Max Affection! That look in Nero's eyes is, um, pretty worrisome to me, honestly. And leads to quite. and could lead up to quite a secret I'd never think would happen. Hey, Nero, what are you up? Hey, it's just me. Just want to let you know I enjoyed our coffee and not just the coffee was good. I hope we can do it again sometime. The next time I'll try not to be horribly sore and cranky. Take it easy. Hope to see you again soon. Later. Queel. Serena. Why are you messaging me, Serena? I'm gonna get over here. Here's what they're saying. Hey, it's Queel. Eh. I have an important question to ask you about the washing machine. What? So if you're not busy, could you come here so I can ask you? If you are busy, then don't. Okay, bye. L. Hello, it's L. I saw you at the cafe. Forgive me if I make any typos. I'm not very good at texting. I just wanted to let you know that my family has given me permission to see you. I was off. I was wondering if. If you would like to get a cup of coffee with me on the 11th in the afternoon at the Queen Bean again? Are you interested? I would love to. That's wonderful. I have to see you then. I shall see you soon. If I'm late, please don't leave too quickly. I may have just fallen asleep. See you soon. How long have I been recording for? 50 minutes, and my webcam's still going. Well, let's get back into more of this game. Well, that was fun. To the beach! Arriving at the beach, you notice right away that things are a little different today. Dozens of people are gathering in small groups in the parking lot and on the beach. And everyone seems to be looking on their, at their phone. As you gather your things and hit the sands, you will hear a group saying Prodamon and Raid. Raid Shadow? No. You suddenly hear a familiar voice. Hey! Hey, hey! Over here! You made it! I am so happy to see you! I was worried maybe you were too busy to waste time at the beach today. Nope. Are you sure you're good to hang out? We can reschedge to another day when it's less busy. Frankly, I'm here for the company. I don't care if it's by the ocean or in a dark basement. Fantastic! Because you get a little of both today. I'm basically a basement dweller. And we're by the ocean! Faces covered! Cool. Here. Lotion, rub my back, then I'll rub yours. It's gooey fun for all ages. 
gooey fun for all ages. Hey, so, um, speaking of gooey touching, <laughs> awkward segue to, um, <clears throat> well, the sex we had? You remember. Oh. That. <laughs> Before you say anything, I just wanted to say, sorry if I came on a bit strong there. After a few drinks, I tend to get a little brazen, I guess. I don't even know what that means. I just felt really bad the next day because maybe I pressured you or talked you into it or, you know. Are we cool? Do we feel at peace with our inner selves? If you're asking me if I feel good about that thing you did with your tongue, the answer is hell yes, my fucking god. Oh, um, <laughs> good. That's, that's fun. <laughs> awesome. Phew, is it me or is it getting hot out here? We should put on a hat before we go down. Uh, I mean, fall down. Huh. Oh my, okay. I need some water. Excuse me. Anyway, so I'm not sure if you got the full download on what's going on here today. Like, literally downloaded. Is there a Pranamon raid going on today? Is this the summer seasoning event? Why am I such a nerd? Yes! Oh my god, I love you! Yes! It's the Pranamon event! Do you know what Pranamon is? Do you play it? No, I don't. I know what the- I know what they're trying to say. I can't believe you're already a hardcore Protomon player like me! I'm so happy I could kiss you! Shrug and lean in for a kiss. Mio's eyes line up and she wraps her arms around you and kisses you excitedly. That's cool. The softness of her, of her lips is unreal and the kiss lingers long enough for her to gently nibble at yours. Yes! Kissing and Pradamon. This is already the best day. Maybe not the best day. Oh, here comes my friend. Ooh. Lotus! Over here! The party's over here! Whoop, whoop! More Lotus. You follow Mio's gaze and see Lotus running to meet you. Sorry, she already has her bikini on and phone in hand. Hi, Mio! I see you brought a friend! Hello there! Have you two met before? Uh, yes. Oh, yes! No one can resist my coffee! Once I have my coffee and claws in you, there's no escape! No, there is an escape. To coffee made branded, uh, coffee creamer. I want coffee, goddammit! Lotus, where's Bonnie? Or Anon? Anon? I'm so sorry, Mio. They both had to cancel. Oh no! That means there's only three of us! How are we gonna catch the special event Prodamon? It's you and me. You know, it's our destiny. I'm trying to think of something else. She... Oh, wow. When they're finished, they're both having getting their game faces on. We got this! Let's do it! As the event starts, all of the teams line up at the far end of the beach. You're a little surprised to find out there's quite a bit of running and pushing other players in this game. That's why we wear the bikinis. Oh. I should have known. Yeah! Many Pradaman players get surprisingly intimidated by pretty ladies in bikinis. Once everyone is lined up, the countdown begins. Three, two, one. Have to prod them all! The entire beach erupts into anarchy. People are running left and right, zigzagging between imaginary obstacles they can only see on their phone. 
Those strips are falls on the meal at one point, sending them into a heap of elbows and bikinis. Oh boy. L Lotus! Focus! We're not here to reenact our favorite anime! Anime? I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm trying to get off of you! Moments later, while you're trying to capture a ker kerfuffle, someone throws sand in your eyes. Hey! You managed to rub them clean, but when you look to find your attacker, you instead you see a, sim a, fam a you see a familiar face. Oh hey, what's going on? What's with all these, these? It's a big game everyone is playing on their phones. It's wild. Oh, that's the one that makes them wander into traffic or whatever. Hey, there we go. I have to bring that story up. I would never have guessed you were into games like this. Is it fun? Does it cost a bunch of money? Hey! You, you and your are startled by Mio, who, who runs up to you waving her phone. Did you catch that kerfuffle? You're awesome! Oh my gosh, we're actually winning the raid right now! You're literally my favorite person in the universe, undisputed heavyweight champion. Um... And her excitement Mio doesn't seem to notice Iro standing off to the side. Iro gives you a slightly confused look. Thank you. Kiss her right in front of the best girl in the game. <laughs> like, come on, really? What's the best option? I regret everything. As you lean down to kiss me, as she meets you, she meets you eagerly and kisses you back. She places her fingertips. That that I can't read. She places her fingertips delicately on your chin, and while the kiss is brief and it's sexual. Let's keep it up. There's a jiggly boob around here somewhere. If we can catch it, we'll have a solid lead. Eee! I'm excited! I'll be RB. Smeo runs off here with Rupster, the beggar from the neck, somewhat embarrassingly. I hated that. <laughs> wow! That must be one of the gals you've been seeing. She is hot. I mean, jeez, look at that! The junk in that trunk should require a license and registration. Damn. Hero, don't admire Mio. Anyway, I'm just here to get my daily surf therapy in. I'll leave it to your game. Have fun! We'll meet up again soon. Bye! Goodbye! As your jogs away, there's a moment when she looks back at... When she looks back at her expression looks... Jealous? Oh. Fuck. In a matter of moments, she's disappearing into the ocean, and your life is consumed once more by Prodamon chaos. After almost two hours of running around and pushing children out of the way to catch a rare Prodamon, your team has fallen to second place, and time is running out. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh no! Mio! I couldn't catch a duck in a truck! I'm so sorry! I used all 20 of my product placements! Aww! Oh no! We were so close! Well, no worries. We gave it our best shot. If just one more person had shown up, we would have been laughing. But it's okay. Maybe we'll catch the mythical Pradamon during the fall fair or something. Thanks for coming out and playing, though, guys. It means a whole bunch to me. I think now's a good time to go drown our sorrows in ice cream. Let's go. My treat. Heck, the, the Prada Monster for Bra Moments. 
It's time to pay the rent. Go. There it goes. M my money. You surpitiously send me a seven hundred dollars worth of game currency anonymously. Whoa! Something just happened. Oh my god! I've got a hundred ultra placements. What's going on? Is this a glitch? Who cares? Use them. Get that duck! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! I got the duck! We won the raid! I use Sonic Victory themes because fuck trying to get copyrighted. We did it? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. We did it! Both of the girls start to laugh and cheer. Hugging you and leaping around filled with joy. All around you, there are looks of disgust and jealousy. One child flips you the bird. Mm -mm -mm. Children shouldn't be able to do that. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy! And confused, but mostly happy! Also, my legs hurt and I've got sand in my bikini. Oh boy. Sounds like a successful day to me. <laughs> Can you believe we won? It was all you, Mew. You were the mastermind of the team. Here, here. Oh, guys, don't be silly. We're a team, and we're awesome. Three cheers for us! Yay! Hip hip! Oh no! I just got a text from Dimitri. He says the cafe is burning down. Oh god, Dimitri, what are you doing? Oh no! Like, for real? No. That means he's being lazy and wants my help. Oh. But I better go anyway. I had so much fun though, guys. Can't wait for the next one. Me too, Lotus. Take care, talk soon. Bye! Go to bye. As you may begin to walk back toward the car, toward the car, she snuggles up next to you and... And looks and hooks her arm in mine. Hey, listen, I had a wonderful time today. Like, a seriously wonderful time. I haven't had that much fun in a long time. And I sort of sprung this whole thing on you, so. Thanks. Thanks for making it happen. Are you not having as much fun gaming these days? Oh, well, it's a bit complicated. Background noise. I actually game a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Every night, in fact. It's sort of my real job. Are you like a game tester or...? No, not a tester. I'm more of a streamer, I guess. A content creator. Oh, cool. I can't remember. Look, I'm... I'm really nervous that if I tell you the truth, you'll look at me differently. I don't know. Maybe think less of me? Do you promise you won't get weird? Even if you find out that maybe I'm kind of weird? I promise. Okay, you'll probably find out sooner than later. The truth is... I stream myself playing video games, and I'm actually not half bad at them. But I sort of stream myself not fully clothed. Me and smiles to you somewhat awkwardly and expectantly. Wait to see what your reaction is. For like performance reasons. <laughs> no? Are you joking? You're joking with me, aren't you? Look, it's no one's business but mine. I enjoy doing it. I'm good at it. And I'm sure there are plenty of nasty things people would call me if they knew, so. If this is a deal breaker for you, just say it. I'd rather tell the truth and get my heart broken than pretend not to care. It's no, fuck you. Nah, it's cool. Sounds sexy. You have to show me your shinger sometime. Really? You you're okay with it? That's Wow, I don't know what to say. I'm so glad you're cool with it. Phew! It's such a relief telling you. Mm -hmm. 
Also, did you just ask to see me naked? <laughs> you sneaky perv baka. <laughs> Please don't call me that ever again. That's a huge weight lifted off me. Wow. <laughs> You're cool. Thanks for being cool. Yay. Okay, well, I gotta run. I've got a shift starting in 20 minutes, and the arcade frowns on wearing bikinis to work. Hmm. But before I go, I was hoping maybe you would kiss me? Went for the road. There we go. Oh boy. Opening your mouth and licking the tip of your tongue and biting me. Bruh moment. There's indeed sand in your mouth, but it somehow makes everything more real and intense. You feel her. Oh boy. Boobies pressing into you. Her nipples hardening beneath the fabric of her bikini. My god. When she's done, she traces her finger beneath her chin and winks. See you, Tiger. Thanks for playing games with me today. You're welcome. Gets into her car, waves goodbye, then drives away. On your way back to your car, as you reach for your keys, you hear someone walking up behind you. Hmm. Is it Arrow again? Because I'm going to be in a deal breaker with that. we are like, don't scare me, bitch! <laughs> Nah, I'm kidding. You turn to see a woman in a hoodie walking toward you. She seems a bit rough around the edges, but pretty. Hey, yo, you got a light? Not on me. No. Okay, no sweat. Thanks, any- Holy shit, look out! You turn just in time to see a man running up toward you with a knife. His face is concealed. He's moving fast. A maxed man! What? No. Three keys and run like hell. Three keys and run like hell. <laughs> yeah! Three keys striking the man in the face. He cries in surprise and pain as one of the keys finds his eye. As one of the keys finds his eye, but he's still manages to swing the knife. Luckily, you're more than out of range when he does. The beach is still crowded, and you run toward the nearest crowd of people. Just as you reach down and turn back, you notice both the man and the girl who asked for a light are gone. You return to your car. Your, your keys are still there on the ground. No one else is nearby. You pick up the keys and leave. Your heart is still racing from the adrenaline surge as you drive away. Good. I'm scared now. Alright. <laughs> That's enough for this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, share, share this if you're an existing subscriber. So that subscriber, if you are wanting people to see my content and seeing if they like it or not. So... Thanks again everyone for watching, goodbye! Yeah.